welcome back to Across Indiana. I'm your host, Michael Atwood, and we have a little inspiration, a little mystery, a villainous monster, and a genuine hero all on board this time around. First, we're heading west for an inspirational start to this trip, all the way to the hallowed halls of the USC Film School to meet a Carmel man who's living his dream of becoming a motion picture director. But George Cornelius is no ordinary man, and his films are no ordinary fare. And he's able to do it all with a little help from his friends and a remarkable technology that truly takes his vision and makes it real. Hi, I'm George Cornelius. He's the coolest kid with disabilities in the world. Yeah, I'm a My first impression, when he first came to my first class, I thought, well, anybody who kind of puts out that kind of effort to overcome all kinds of obstacles, I just immediately thought I'm going to give him a break no matter what he turns in. He is, uh, like he's an, uh, he is an untapped well of creativity, and the kid um, can throw a million ideas at you a second. Not only did I not have to give him a break, but he set the bar for the whole class. First impression when I first saw George was um, one of confusion, I guess, a little bit as to what he's doing in our class. I met George one morning in a uh, hospital room, and uh, after 24 hours of labor, and uh, but George was diagnosed with SMA, spinal muscular atrophy, at uh, three months. This is a condition that an individual is lacking a protein, and without this protein, the nerve cells atrophy, shrink, and eventually die, that, and, and that results in muscle weakness. George survived the, the early years, which usually kids don't survive. The way out with a disability is so good in the experience. Um, you know what normalized is, because you see it, that you can't really experience it. And uh, when I was growing up, you know, a lot of times it was hard to relate to other kids because um, a lot of other kids did sports and whatnot and me, I can do those things. And the one thing I could do was watch movies. It's a fine line, I know, when you're making fun of George, because um, he makes fun of himself all the time. Uh, Gimped Productions, for example, his, uh, his production company. was interesting, really interesting is that when you meet him, you recognize that he really isn't handicapped. George is like Yoda. He's, he, he's not something that people expect a lot of, out of. That's George with every one of his movies. <laughs> Kicking ass. He has such positive energy and a positive attitude. And that's, I think that's the kind of attitude you need in this industry and in life in general. He is completely remarkable. His films are remarkable. I was so impressed. I, I, I can't wait to see more of his films. They're just, they're funny and they're super smart. They're just great. I love them. He's able to see cinematically everything he, everything uh, his life is experienced through movies. As much as I like to think that I can do all these things, I can't. And so when it comes time to use a camera or use an editing machine, I have to rely on my friends to help me out, and I do not do that. And it's some really great friends at USC that are willing to help me. We found a, a, uh, a piece of equipment called the uh, Eye Gaze. It's made by LC Technologies in Arlington, Virginia. And it's really the greatest thing ever. You can uh, look at this 
eye gaze and you can operate a computer with your eyes. And the other and you actually when I pursue this, it will tend to do a theory as to how that's gonna happen. Is it a realistic joke? Especially for someone in a dis with a disability where the independent industry doesn't really have uh, that many people with disabilities working. He will be somebody that's gonna direct features. I love George Cornelius, and I think you should too. <laughs> <laughs> Many of you have